Coronation Street spoilers, Eileen and Felon plunge to death in devastating double exit. Viewers have been waiting for Pat Felon, Connor McIntyre, to get his comeuppance for months. The villain has been wiping out the Coronation Street cast left, right and center since he started his reign of terror. But it looks like it could be his wife Eileen, Sue Cleaver, who takes him out once and for all but could she be going with him? Next Monday, Felon gets some bad news that means he won't be paid for his work at the Legacy Reach site but the concrete he lays will have to be dug up and done again. On Wednesday, Tim Metcalf, Joe Duttine, berates Eileen to hurry up with their plans to move away. Felon convinces Eileen to head off to check out a cottage for a week, and him being away could be the start of his downfall. Seb Franklin, Harry Vizinoni, overhears plans to dig up the concrete and thinks that's where Felon buried the gun he shot Luke Britton, Dean Fagan, with. He asks Tim and Gary Windass, Mikey North, to help him look for it but what will they find? Felon and Eileen head off to the seaside cottage while Seb and Gary get to work searching for the fun, locking a security guard in a portable toilet as a precaution. Once they arrive at the cottage, Felon tells Eileen he's hired a boat so that they can look at cottages in Ireland too. Back home, police arrive at the mill and Gary and Seb are arrested, putting an end to their gun search though they admit what they were looking for. But at the station, the police want to know more about the two bodies found in the concrete, with Gary being arrested on suspicion of murder. It seems news reaches Felon, as in Friday's episodes he throws his passport and some clothes in a bag and prepares to make his escape. Eileen catches him and asks where he's going and when he lies, she follows him and finds him about to sail away. Furious, she accidentally drops her car keys in the sea along with a picnic she'd prepared to try and smooth things over. Back in Weatherfield, Adam Barlow, Sam Robertson, arrives at the station to represent Gary and they find out about the bodies. Adam urges Tim to leave a voicemail for Eileen but it's not until she gets a few bars of signal that the message goes through. Horrified, Eileen tries to persuade Felon, oblivious to the message, to go back to the boat so she can ring Tim but Felon follows her. She heads to the lighthouse and waits for Tim to answer her, but Felon grabs her phone and hears Tim trying to warn her. Eileen shouts out in fear but Felon chucks her phone in the sea, leading to her labeling him a liar, murderer, and rapist. She threatens to throw the boat keys over the railings and, after a tussle, the rusty restraints give way. Could this be the end of Felon, Eileen, or both of them?